New to Ambarons, it's me, Skilly19, and welcome back to Let's Play Command and Conquer Red Alert. And for some reason, once I have this built, we now have a magical construction vehicle in the middle of our base for some apparent reason. I did wonder that. I wondered why, like, we had two construction vehicles in that opening cutscene, and now we only had one. Sneaky. But, uh, yeah. So, I want to ask, is any of you watching, like, the opening ceremony of the Olympics that's actually on right now? Considering it's like 11.38 p.m. right now over here in Britain. I have to say, I'm really, really happy with it. It's actually really good. I, I, You know, in Britain we have this kind of aspect where we aim to be like really, really good. And then we don't. <laughs> That's kind of the whole British aspect. It's like, we're going to be awesome. And it's not. I have to say, though, they pulled through the, the Olympic ceremony. This is actually really, really quite good. So I want to know, what do you guys think of it? What do you guys think of the Olympic ceremony? Is it good? Is it bad? Do you even know what it is? Do you even care? <laughs> to be honest. Though I am happy to see that there's like a lot more like countries in that involved in this. The things like Afghanistan. I mean, their first Olympic like thing was in Beijing, which was like a couple of years ago, I think. So, I mean, it's, it's nice that it's nice to see that more and more people are like coming together for the Olympic Games. Like even countries like Afghanistan. Come on. It's good. It's bringing the world together to try and beat each other. <laughs> uh, Alright, but anyway. Oh, hello, Mr. Gunship. Let's sink you. Hopefully. Well, let's send our yak attack planes to go and bomb stuff. Yeah, that's more like it. One sub should be able to take down one freaking gunship. Oh, jeez. They have AA guns. Oh, I did not notice that. And I'm still, like, losing my marbles over that freaking last time that we were playing this. Freaking the rocket soldiers of theirs on the shoreline were like, oh, we're just gonna go like blah 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 blah, blah and blow the crap out of your freaking submarine. I had no idea they could do that. That's so not fair. If I'd have known that, I would have had like freaking rocket soldiers defending my coastline when I was the Allies. Mind you, it probably wouldn't have worked because, I mean, we didn't even get to build the gap generators for the Allies on the Allies side of things, and they get to build them on this. Like, like fourth mission of the Russians. They're like, oh, by the way, the Allies have gap generators. Blah blah blah. Because we're so nice to the to the AI. Because well, to, granted, yeah, the AI kind of sucks. You know, just saying. I mean, if you've ever played a skirmish game, they don't know how to not attack each other every five seconds. They're not conservative. Uh, actually, I don't think conservative is the right word. They're not reserved, as it were. They're just all at attack, like, all the time, and they weaken themselves, which is kind of freaking silly, if you ask me. My, uh, my policy, as you know, best defense, best offense is a good defense. And then I counterattack and kick everybody's ass. You know. Most of the time it works, most of the time it doesn't, especially if I play online, because I take time building up my village, my bases and things. I almost said villages, because I was actually thinking about populace. Because a lot of people have actually commented on uh, my populist videos, like, oh my goodness, you take so long to build up your base, and you blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, that's true, but when it is built, I have a really, really strong base, like, ridiculously strong. And that's probably, like, my hindrance. That's probably, like, one of the, like, pros and cons of it is pro that it's a really powerful base. The con is that it's really, really, really vulnerable most of the time until it becomes strong. Shoot that destroyer. God, I love having planes. I've said this before in a couple of missions like Manicong Conquer, like I know I have. The, uh, the I love planes and I love tanks. So like the Russians are like my favorite team on this. Like I usually like I said in the last one, I usually go for the allies, mainly because of like who they are and what they do kind of thing. But for this game, favorites are the Russians simply because they're severely overpowered. Ah oh, man, pause balls by going upstairs. Pause balls by going downstairs. Is anybody else watching Game Grumps? It's like the the Let's Play channel of Eagle Raptor and Jontron. I have never laughed so much in my life. Like I'm really happy that I subscribed to them. Like they are like got to be the funniest, the f one of the funniest duos I have ever seen. It's hilarious. And like not only did they're, they're like getting remixes and stuff done for them. Like they're just so hilarious. Like I'll tell you the truth now. Like I've only rarely laughed out loud. If it feels like usually I kind of chuckle to myself and I'm quiet. I've never actually like burst out laughing as hard as I could to uh, a Let's Player before. Like there's only been certain fuse. Like I've laughed out loud to Proton John and I've laughed at Chuck Conroy. I mean, and I've laughed at my good buddy Broken Champion. 
But I mean, like, oh man, I I literally was like laughing, like I was wetting myself laughing so hard at one of their videos, at one of uh, Game Grumps' videos. Like, if you haven't been to them, I would go and subscribe to them. They are ridiculously funny. Well, I mean, uh, come on, it is Proton, it is Proton John, it is um, Ego Raptor, the guy that makes the awesome series. Oh God, Metal Gear! What the heck? Sink those things! Stop them blowing up my stiff. My stiff. My stiff and stiff. My stiff and stiff and stiff. Get rid of that frickin' destroyers. Wish my destroyers were that effective against frickin' submarines. <laughs> I needed like four to take down a group of like two submarines. I would lose like three of them doing it. Which stunk. Stunk balls going downstairs. Stunk ball trying to blow up destroyers. Oh, and I really have that song stuck in my head now. Whoever remixed that is evil. It's almost as catchy as... Here's my number, so call me maybe. Uh. Oh, Carly Ray Jepsen. For being a 26-year-old, you make annoyingly childish songs. She is hot, though. I'll give her that. Anyway, but that's personal view of mine. <laughs> Moving on. Jeez. Uh, Carly Ray Jepsen, if you watch this, call me. <laughs> oh, like she would. Anyway. Uh... Alright, what are we doing? Are we Wow, all my ore trucks are all like driving around in symmetry. That's kind of cool. That's another thing I like about like games like this, is like you can see all your stuff automatically doing its own stuff. Like, I get such a nerd hard-on for this kind of stuff, like just seeing the ore trucks going about and doing whatever they do on their own, like not needing any guidance from me at all, like nothing at all. That really, I really get like excited about that. I'm like, oh my god, look at the ore trucks, they're like driving around on their own, oh my goodness. I'm such a freaking child. It's ridiculous. Ah, come on, heavy tank, get out there! Get out there and blow up that light tank that's shooting out our flame tower. I did not know that a light tank could outrange a flame tower. I did not know that. Huh? You learn something new every day. All right, heavy tank, get rid of that freaking thing. Get rid of that pest. He's like, hey, I'm gonna sit here and take pump shots at your base. Stupid light tank. There we go. And you know what? Ever since I started singing that, I really have Call Me Maybe stuck in my head right now. Like, as I'm doing this commentary, all that's going through my head is, So oh, here's my number. Call Me Maybe. Oh, my goodness. So I do like that video that is like that, that guy that has like half his clothes off all the time and then it turns out he's gay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's pretty good. I was like, yes, I can still attempt to date Carly Rae Jepsen. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, that's not the reason. Anyway. Uh, right. We want our submarines to go over Nyaal. Right about Nyaal. Uh, well, I don't know. No, actually, I'm going to start building up more submarines because I need a lot of submarines to take on that, like, battalion. What is this nonsense happening over here? Tanks, just run them over. That's one thing I've never really understood. I mean, well, I tell a lie. I do understand it, like, in Command & Conquer, why the tanks aren't effective against infantry is to keep it balanced so, like, tanks aren't the be-all and end-all of everything. Where is they are in this game anyway, but, you know, that's the point. but in later games like the infantry, tanks don't do well against infantry to have it like, planes do good against infantry, infantry does good against tanks, and tanks do good against buildings, and there's all those like specific tanks that are good against infantry, blah 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 blah, like there's that nice balance. So I can understand why the tanks don't do good, but it's still annoying. I mean, like, in real life, I'm pretty sure if, like, a group of, like, five riflemen came up against a freaking dual turreted tank, and the tank was like, Dudush! that whole, like, five squad infantry would be dead. I hate to say it, but they would. Oh, just go and run him over. Hopefully he doesn't turn around and get a smart idea to shoot the freaking uh, tank, because they take, like, one shot and they're dead. I'm gonna need to build a service depot, actually. Because I'm going to need to freaking repair my tanks and that song is still going around in my head. See what I mean about her making such a freaking catchy song. Uh, all the other boys, they try to change me. I really need to stop singing this song. Uh, someone shoot me in the face right now. Seriously. Mm. It's almost as bad as watching me fail miserably at freaking... Rayman. Like, I am seriously embarrassed with some of those jumps that I made on that last episode yesterday. I was literally like, oh, God. Like, as soon as I made that jump, I'm, I'm seriously considering, like, going, I am so going to start this again right now because that was just fucking awful. 
I was literally like watching it back like oh my god did I really just do that and then on my practice you have my practice file like I have like 19 lives in my practice file right now I'm like blazing through this blazing through it like it, it's not hard to me because I've played the game like five times over I know what I'm doing in Rayman and then all of a sudden I'm just sucking balls right now pause balls by going upstairs suck balls at playing Rayman Oh man, like you would never, like I said in that video, it's like you would never guess that I'm actually quite good at video okay. games. Like I'm quite good professionally at video games, I play them a lot. As you could probably tell if any of you have looked on Xbox Live by the fact that I have 106,000 gamer score. Actually I've had people send me emails and messages about that saying that I've hacked my gamer score and I'm like, um, okay, and how would I do that? It's like, I, it's like the same people that yell at me for playing Call of Duty and saying I'm a modder or something like that. I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> like, it's one thing, like, I never would because I think it's cheap and low and you would never mod anything. It's What's the point? Like, you beat somebody like 70 nil and you're like, yeah, I'm better than you. When you actually deep down know you're not and you're not making yourself get better at the game. You're just making a dick of yourself. Whereas, like, I actually, like, play the game as best I can and usually that means I, like, hopefully beat people. Reinforcements have arrived. But that on the side, like, I don't even know how to, like, mod my console or anything like that. I wouldn't even know the first thing to do with it. And then if it comes up with, like, oh, you need to insert, like, this, 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 and then you need to type in all these, like, bracket codes and things like that, I'd be like, fuck that, I can't bother. I'm too bored. That's the one reason, like, a lot of people have said to me, oh, you should be a video games designer. Like, I did want to be a video games designer in my past, like, when I was a little kid, but... Um, it got to the point where I started doing it, like I did a college course of it, and like it just started getting, it got way too boring for me. I could not sit and do a job, I could not do the, the job the games designers do. Like I'm thankful that there are people that will do their jobs, and boy do they do their freaking jobs good, because I spent hours on their video games, I mean come on, <laughs> I make let's plays of them. But I couldn't do it. I don't have the patience for it. Uh, like wh whoever, like the guys that make video, guys and girls that make video games, they're they're gods in my eyes because I, I just couldn't do it. Mainly because, like I could. If have you ever played Time Splitters Future Perfect? Like the map generator on that is phenomenal. It is amazing. I love that map generator. I miss that game. Actually. Maybe I'll do a let's play of that. Would you guys want me to do a let's play of Time Splitters Future Perfect? Cause I would do that. that would, that's a really good game. There aren't really any games I wouldn't do a let's play of. Like if you have like, uh, like some people's channel, you go to them and they'll have like a list of let's plays that they will not do. They're like I don't have a list of any games I won't do. I mean, you could tell me to do like Ninja Gaiden 2 or something on the hardest difficulty, and I'll do it. It'll take me like 600 parts because I'll fail horribly at it. But I'll still do it, or I'll still try to. I mean, I don't know. What games would you want to see? I, I ask this. I ask what games you would want to see because I like to know what people want to see. But I do have a list of games that I've already, like, thought of for myself that I'm going to do. Like, because I know them well and they're my personal favorite games. So, if I, like, me asking you right now is for future, like, reference down the road. Somewhere down the road. Like, a, I, I don't even know. Like, however long it takes me to finish these games. Because now that I do a video every single day of the freaking year, then it's gonna, I'm gonna finish video games really, really fast. Especially because I don't have the, the 10 minute limit. I can break that and make it like 20, 30 minute episodes, which is pretty good. So here's my number. Give me Let's Plays, please. I don't know. But it seems like to me, I don't really want to go for like Nintendo games. I know Nintendo games are classics, and I've played them, and I love them. Like my first game for the Super Nintendo was Kirby Superstar, and I love that. That game will always have a special place in my heart. That game will always have a special place. But like I don't want to do too many Nintendo things because so many people have done Nintendo games. Like like Super Mario 64. There's like at least like four Let's players that I watch that have done that. Like uh, you have Super Genius. He's done it. You have Josh. I think Josh Jepsen did it. And I'm sure like a couple other people have done it as well. A couple other people that I've watched. It's just like really like I want to get away from the Nintendo ones. I want to do stuff that not many people have done before, which is hard to say because a lot of people do Let's Plays and a lot of people do fantastic things of Let's Plays. Yes, sir. But I digress. The main point I'm trying to make here, what do you what would you guys like to see out of this channel? Because, to be obvious, I make this channel for you guys. If it wasn't for you, I'd have nobody watching my videos and nobody listening to me ramble for a while. 
You guys are my only friends. I mean, no, no, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um. Avast virus database has been updated. Thank you for yelling that at me, Avast, at midnight. It's really nice. You know, my computer does that every freaking... Really? Really? You just told me that? Frick. I'm telling you, this freaking computer wants to freaking... It does that, like, when I'm sleeping at, like, four in the morning. Be all quiet in my house, and then all of a, all of a sudden I hear is, Avast, virus database has been updated. It's like, thanks for yelling that at me and scaring the living bejesus out of me. I actually posted that on my Facebook one a little while ago. I was playing, um... I think I was playing uh, The Darkness. Uh, yeah, I was playing The Darkness, yes, The New Nightmare for the PS1. I was playing that, and like I was getting really engrossed in it. I love horror games. Horror games are like one of my favorite things ever. I love horror games, and I love horror movies. They are like my favorite genre ever because I love the fear that it instills in people, like they, if it's portrayed really well. But uh, because I was so engrossed in the game and I was like, I was really jumpy and things, my computer came on and went, oh, that virus database has been updated. And I literally like jammed 10 feet in the air because my computer was behind me while I was playing it. So it was just all quiet in my house and now he hears, a vast virus database has been updated. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, really? Really? I need to stop playing horror games in the middle of the day. My freaking computer scares up a Jesus out of me. Oh, man. What are you gonna do with this construction? I'm thinking we're gonna take this construction vehicle. If we can capture this base over at the top right, boop, that freaking old truck. If we can capture this base over at the top right over there, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna set up like a little mini base over there, I guess. And then we're gonna build like a like get transports and whatever, and we're gonna drop off like tanks and crap all over that island. Like I'm gonna get a bunch of transports, fill them with tanks. And then I'm gonna launch them over to the island, and we're gonna take that base. I'm thinking 15 tanks should be enough. 15 to 20, so four transports worth. Three to four transports. That should be enough. But we'll probably do that next episode, just like we will take over this base completely, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think 17 minutes has been enough of listening to me ramble and watch me build and blow stuff up. Right about you. Alright, let's punch a hole into this base. And then we'll probably call it a day. Oh, hello. Hello, what is this? Getting freaking reinforcements to come in and pincer attack me from behind, you dirty swine. Well, it would have been dangerous if they got like five medium tanks, but they got two light tanks and an artillery. I think I can handle it. But anyway, before we go any further with this, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Skilly19. Thank you for watching.